Okay, a little bit of harness, little harness video I was asked to make. Um, I could talk about harness for days, couldn't we Rambo? But we'll try and keep it short and it was relating to the breaching strap. This goes round the bum, stops the carriage running into them basically. Um, and it should sit pretty much where it is. So you don't want it too low because if the pressure comes on it'll buckle their legs which isn't good and if it's too high there's potential to slide up and give them a wedgie which also not so good for the little fella is it sunshine so just briefly that's pretty much where it should sit this part here should line up up with this part here on them so that's not too bad fits pretty well if my pony would stand up come on good lad there we go that's not so far off. So I'm going to put the cart on and show you how I set the tension on it when he's in the cart. Right, we've got him in the carriage now. Yes, we have. And um, so this is how the breaching strap sits. Um, that lead rope's my booking strap, which I haven't put on yet because it'll be in the way. Um, and how tight I think that this breaching should be when the pony's in draft. So he's pushing because ponies don't pull carts, they push them on here and the trace is under tension which I'll try and do Ooh, like that, there should be can you see, a hand width his back leg's back look <laughs> there you go between his back leg and the carriage, that's good and then when the carriage goes forward because you're slowing down or going down a hill boop, that pushes there, look Carriage can't run into him, everything's good. Um, obviously a Shetland pony wouldn't need a hand and a Shire horse would need more. My black and white cob, he needs slightly more because he's very extravagant with his hocks, isn't he? So he needs a bit more room and you don't want it too tight because if they get trapped, pressure between there and there, you can almost constrict the pony I don't know whether that's the right thing to say, and then they feel, um, well, they don't like it. And also, you don't want it too slack, because then, sometimes, when ponies are just learning, if the cart starts doing this, if this one isn't doing it but a real lot, the pony can get a bit upset, oh, baby, back up, darling. And you don't want that happening. You can see there, everything's sort of sitting where it should do, hopefully.